Hello everyone, Excedra here, bringing you episode 8 of Skybees 2, a mod pack by Valden. So, in the last episode, we got, got a couple more bees, and basically, bees was taking all of my time, did a little bit of Batania, and crafted the terrestrial agglomeration plate, which I also used to get my two terrestrial bee spawn egg. And then I went into a time lapse where I just like got a couple of things done. So first off, I changed this setup right here. You have a mana splitter, so it puts the mana in all four mana pool. So that at least I can accrue a lot more now. And I made this cute little setup. This is one of the setup that I like. A sticky piston with the alchemy catalyst. So here, it's a normal mana pool. If I do this, it's now a catalyst mana pool. And I can remove it on demand. I also moved this mana spreader here to be able to send mana here if we needed to do something else. Then I also did a little change here. Look at my mob farm. I put some dark glass, like dark glass is very simple. I thought that what I wanted was the tinted glass, but tinted glass is super expensive. Whereas dark glass, uh, this one is just charcoal with some glass around and i also make dark ethereal glass with the eye of ender so if i need to go in the mob farm i can just go through this same as with the honey but this is for mobs instead of bees so this is a really nice setup and things are working better now so i still need to resolve the head problem and i think i'm gonna have to get into router to resolve the head problem because i'm not close to having blazing plot so Today, uh, let's just, I need to start some marble. So today I want to get into Astral Sorcery. Now, one thing that's important to note about Astral Sorcery is that it's a mostly a night, uh, a nighttime mod, which means that unfortunately, I'm, I can't skip the nights anymore. So now I'm going to start spreading my work between night and day. And I think it's about to be night, which means we're going to be able to start right now uh i got four terra steel we need 18 so that's going to take a while and also figured out how to upgrade the red backpack so let's do that quickly to upgrade the backpack you need to put these column upgrade in your off end and then you can right click and voila and then we're going to grab the next one and look at this now this is an amazing backpack I don't think I'm going to be having any more uh, space issues. Anyway, so let's just start. I, I Today, I want to make more bees. I want to make some quality of life upgrade like this backpack and a jetpack and maybe a magnet. We'll see. But mainly, I want to start astral sorcery. And why? Let me show you really quickly. I don't want to waste any time. I want to get my steel bee. Okay. But for the steel bee, we need a steel bee nectar block. And the steel bee nectar block requires two blocks of steel. Just like we did with the Signalum and the Lumium and the uh, any other kind of metal, we need to get our first one. And to get the first, we're going to need to make Molten Steel. And to make Molten Steel, you need Molten Mana Infused cold, Coal and Molten Starlight Infused Iron. So we're going to need... That's going to make four ingot. So one bucket of Molten Mana Infused Coal. So we're going to need to make how much? That's one bucket. So we're going to need to make five mana infused coal. And the mana infused coal is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine block of coal in a runic altar. Okay. And if I come back right here. Molten starlight. This is way more complicated. You need starlight infused blocks. So we're going to need five of those. Those are, look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine block of iron in a celestial altar. But celestial art altar, well, it's kind of here. So we need to start making some progression. So let's start with the luminous crafting table. The luminous crafting table is starlight transmutation with a crafting table. We're going to come right here and we're going to grab some planks and we're going to make three. One, two, three. Throw that right here. And then we're going to go one, two, three. So that's done. Next, 
we need to make a resonating wand. Well, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. The more urgent thing is we need these light well. So these light well, ah, oh, I didn't make the rock crystal. I didn't have time to make the rock crystal. Okay, so for these light well, we're going to need aquamarine. And to get aquamarine, you need aquamarine shale. But look at this. We can also get it with a marble be with sand. So I think we already have one aquamarine. If I come here, yeah, we have two. So I think we can make, do we make one light well? I don't think so. No, because we don't have the rock crystal. Can we make uh, a starlight crafting altar? No, we can't. So can we make a resonating one? Yes, we can. So let's at least do that. So I'll come right here. We'll need some green petal and a mortar and pestle like so. And then we can do that. And then we can use this to do resonating one. This is super important. Okay. Uh, what else? So right now, until my bees, uh, unfortunately, I'm wasting a night. Which really, 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 really annoys me. But I didn't prepare, unfortunately, any rock crystal. So, okay, let's just do something quickly. I'm going to... Grab this. Oh, no. Grab this. And we're going to go and pick up the... Um, sorry. For the Astral B, we're going to need the Marble B. So it's the Marble B. The Marble B has two block transmutation. A Starlight Crafting Altar into an Astral B spawn. And Sand into Aquamarine. But more importantly, Marble Pillar into Rock Crystal. So first off, we're going to make a Stone Cutter. So let's just do that right now. And I'm going to show you why in a second. Then I'm going to grab some marble. And I'm going to go one, two, three. Put the stone cutter right here. And we're going to say, okay, so these, we're going to grab a stack of marble pillar. We're going to grab half a stack of rune marble. Oh, half a stack of marble arch. Half a stack of chiseled marble. And which one am I missing? So we don't need marble stairs. We don't need marble slab. Well, I say we don't, but I get, well, I'll get back to that. So chiseled marble. We need half a stack. And right here. So we've got 64 marble pillar. We've got the arch. Arch. We're going to need some marble brick. You know what? Let's grab half a stack of marble brick. And we've got ruined marble. And let's grab some more marble. And right now, I'm just going to grab half a stack. And right oh, right here, what else can I make? So we have rune marble. We don't have any of this engraved marble, but I don't think we need it yet. If we need it, we'll get back to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a couple of marble stairs. Like so. And, oh, I know what I need. I need some sooty marble. So marble. Boom like so with some coal is going to give me sooty marble hey yes that 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 might be a little bit too much but whatever okay so now that this is done we're going to go and pick up our marble b oh our marble b is right here oh we can't pick up the marble what am i talking about let's just prepare the setup and then we're going to sleep and we're going to pick up the marble b Just one. And the marble bee we're going to set somewhere else. So let's grab the marble bee nectar block. This one. Put that right there. And we're going to do the nice little transmutation trick that we've done before. Where I'm going to put the marble bee nectar block right here. Then I'm going to go one, two, three, four pillar. Because we want a lot of rock crystal. So now we're just going to go sleep. Because there's not much that we can do in the... Oh, you know what? No. Since we have... Oh, I need to pass the day. So, no. Let's go sleep. And then during the day, we're going to continue with a couple of setup things. So, the first thing we're going to do is hopefully grab a marble bee. Nope. Not a snowball. A marble bee that we're going to bring. And I'm going to side load it. Marble bee right here. And then do that. Perfect. So it's going to acquire honey. Then it's going to walk over these. And 
transform them. So we're going to come right back to this in a moment. And while we're waiting, do we have a chisel? Yeah, we have a diamond wand and a chisel. So I'm going to come over here. And let me grab my chisel. So one of them is going to be uh, the indent. And then it's going to be big tiles. Big, big tiles. So I'm going to make another chisel, but I'm going to make a diamond chisel this time. So chisel. And I'm going to make a diamond one, which is going to last a bit longer. Like so. And then I'm going to go like this and say big tile. Where's the other? Oh, it's on the ground. I was like, where's the other half stack? So big tile. Okay. What I'm going to do is that right here is going to be the uh, chiseled stuff. This is going to be my separation between my standard island and the... Um, oh, one, two, three. Oh. Well, too bad. It's not going to be symmetric and I'm not going to care. I'll fix that later. But let's go right here and then I can do this. I'm just going to prepare. Basically, what I want to do is all my astral stuff is going to be over here. We're going to need a couple of platforms. So let's just come back here and do this and this. Oh, no, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Remove that and this way I can... And one, and this is kind of goofy, but I just, when I'm going to remove that later, I just want it to be the same because I'm trying to concentrate on making my base a bit nicer this time around. Like, ideally, I want to make sure that I have a really nice, cool looking base. And perfect. Now I can use the wand and go boom, boom, boom. And this right here is, no, I'm going to continue the road like this. Perfect. Okay. So I like this to be hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Don't know. Oh, they're done. They're done. Let's go and grab them. Aha, uh -huh. that's going to be four rock crystal for tonight. Now, the issue that I have is the bee's not coming out because the bee... Oh, it did come out. Well, I was going to say the bee's not coming out because it has nothing to do. You know what? Let's give you a little bit of a hand because sometimes bees are stupid. Let's just do this, this, and pick up all of these. Let's get out of here and let's just get rid of these honeycombs. Okay, you know what? Let's go and look at the book because Astral Sorcery, I've done a lot of research because it's been a while since I played with that mod. So one of the things that I want to do is here we can have in the Astral Tome, there's a lot of information. So in Discovery, we have uh academy shrine like there, there's all i'm not going to read it but i'm showing you that there's a lot of information here resonating one luminous crafting table and whatnot so the resonating one is what you need to use if i like craft a recipe in here it won't craft it you need to use the one and go whack and that's how it works i'm going to show it to you later now we need aquamarine so let's come right over here and this is probably the last time we're going to need our vanilla generator. We need a sandstone and we need to remove that. Put sandstone under and I probably, yeah, kill this. Okay, so now that we have that, we're just going to come over here and get rid of this. And oh, sand. So let's just, we just want to get an open end and go, that's sand. That's bituminous red sand. Oh, aquamarine. That's sand, red sand, aquamarine. And some are going to be lost to the lava, unfortunately. That was salt. So we get red sand, uh, normal sand, salt right here. Where we get uh, bituminous sand, bituminous red sand, 
and we also get the salt and the aquamarines the important part like salt we already have because we have the salt bee but basically this is oh more aquamarine this is the most important part we're doing this to get aquamarine later when we have the astral bee we're going to be getting uh astral aquamarine through the uh the honeycomb but for now that's the only way we have to get some and i'd like to get more than seven like what i'd like to get if possible is like 16 or 32 but this uh, this is really something i should be doing in a time lapse and right now i'm basically working to get a minimum starting amount i just wanted to grab that before it disappeared don't want this to despawn it's probably the most important resource that i need right now so let's go for 16 and then i'm going to work on the next step and we're still day anyway so it's we still have some daylight to burn oh 16 perfect okay so i'm going to come right here and the seeds i'm going to go and get rid right here and by the way yes i have the maximum number of heart so there's really no need of eating more stuff anymore unfortunately so that's done and let's put the compressed cobblestone and we've got the 16 aquamarine but we're still during the day and we still need to wait for night so the the idea that i have is i'm either going to make more bee, uh, bees or i'm going to make more uh quality of life so i'm going to do the quality of life first so one of the things that i absolutely want to do is I want a redstone flux cell and a think tinker works workbench so let's start with the tinker workbench i'm going to need <coughs> a redstone flux coil and i'm probably going to need two because i think this needs one also no this doesn't need one. Oh, whatever but let's make a oh i'm sorry let's remove the stone cutter that was a misclick on my part so re let's remove that we need a crafting table and then we need a tinker workbench and i'm gonna grab that and i'm gonna go and put it immediately right oh yeah okay so no i'm going to immediately put it right next to the power because i want it to start charging with power this can hold 500,000 rf so i just want to make sure that this is starting to make the rf as soon as possible then so the tinker's workbench is done the next thing that i want to do is the redstone flux so let's grab some electrum one two three four and let's grab some redstone i already know that i'm going to need five blocks of redstone and five redstone because i'm going to need five uh, block of redstone and you know what we're going to remove the sand because this is going to prevent us from doing what i want I'll put this end back later, but for now, I want to be able to put all of these things in here so that they can smelt and get into the um, smeltry. Yeah, that's the word. Wow. Searching for words. So I'm going to stop this. I'm going to grab a, goal, a gear cast. I'm going to switch to the electron and say, give me that cast. Once I got the gear, I'm going to restart this. And that's going to go under right here. So let's just wait for it. So we've got the Electrum gear. So if I come back here, we should now be able to make a Redstone Flux cell frame. And basically, the Redstone Flux cell frame needs to be filled with five buckets of destabilized Redstone. And each Redstone, it, th this is 900, and these are one. So that's going to be 900 plus 100 is a bu bucket. So 5, 100, 100, 100, 100 is going to make these five buckets. So I just need to wait for some of this molten glass to... Yeah, for whatever reason, when I clicked on it and I turned, it like stopped it. But it's just going to continue and empty perfect so i'm gonna have to wait for that and while we're waiting for that continue on the quality of life stuff i want to make a wood jet pack so the wood truster requires these basic coil and a wood energy cell and the wood energy cell requires a coil so we're going to need three coils four per truster so four eight seven nine 
uh, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're going to need 11 basic coil. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to throw in there. And then we're going to need five of those. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. That we're going to throw back in there. And we're going to need the leather strap. Throw that back in there. We're going to need two wood truster. Oh, and the wood trusters are going to require some furnace. You know what? Oh, it's night. So we're just going to finish this and then go back to next step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come back here and just do it quickly. And do this because we're going to need furnace. Oh, I, I forgot about my bee. Okay, so let's go back here. Oh, I didn't lose any. Perfect. So do this and then these should all be marble. Yeah, let's grab these and let's go back. So we have a couple, so we should be good. First, so we're going to drop the quality of life and what we're going to be making now. This is made. This is made. Now we're going to make some light well. So that's going to be, see, it's ready and it has enough starlight. So if I go right this. And it's going to give me a light well. Now I'm going to put down here and put an aquamarine in. And then I'm going to ask for the night next light well, like this. Ooh, sorry, I, I I just like that sound. I like the sound from Astral Sorcery. So this one, and do this, and then we're going to make, I think three is going to be enough for now. So let's start a third one, and while we're waiting, let's come right here and make a singularity tank. Because I want space to put all of that. Oh, did you hear the break? That means that one of these crystal broke. <laughs> they don't all give the exact same quantity of light well. And if you look in JEI, it says, oh, it's going to be a bucket. It's not. Like, it's, sometimes it's a bucket. Sometimes it's, it's more than a... I think the max is a bucket. I'm not 100% sure, though. But see, I don't have a bucket of any one of those. And this is done. So I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to put the redstone flux cell here. Switch to redstone, destabilize redstone, and do this. If I come back here, oh, this is filling up with power. But now we're going to have a whole like um, energy cell to accrue more and more power because the problem is that when you recharge your jetpack, the jetpack requires a lot of like it needs a lot of power. And I don't want to have to wait for days for it to charge. So it's easier if you have a battery that's pretty full so that it can charge really fast. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, this is longer than I thought, but it's it has enough redstone. It just needs to finalize, stabilize or something. And voila. So now we can start that again, and we now have a something that can hold a million RF. So ideally, I want to put it here. Once one once it empties, we'll deal with it then. Okay. So what's my status on the light well stuff? Oh, we've got a bucket. Two bucket. Okay. So the reason I need a bucket is now we're going to make a starlight crafting altar, and we do have enough light. And this is going to transform it. It's not going to create a new one. It's just going to transform it. So this is transformed. We're going to grab this. Put the next one. Grab the next bucket. Go here. And... Oh. I'm out of rock crystal? No, okay. Whew. Let's grab those. Come back over here. And craft the next one. I want to make three. The reason I want to make three... I, I need one as an altar... And I need two to make the two B spawn, which I'm going to be doing during the next day. Uh, so grab this. And that's the last bucket. Oh, that's really fortunate. Let's just do this and get our third one. And grab this. Perfect. Now, these altar 
they don't work without a special setup. So we're going to have to make that setup. Let's just put another aquamarine here. And we're going to go back to the astral sorcery book. So now if I go back to the astral sorcery book in exploration, we have the starlight crafting altar. So the starlight crafting altar needs a nine by four by nine. But, 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 but there's a second level to this. And the next altar, and if I go to the quest line, I believe, we're also going to need to make a celestial ardor altar and an iridescent altar but the iridescent altar is like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven it's eleven large by eleven large which is also basically the same size if i come to let's go back to the book because i'm confused right now no well sorry the quest line but so starlight crafting uh, so this one's going to be eleven by eleven so I definitely want to prepare this, the size for 11 by 11. But one super important thing. Let, let's just put one down back again. So if I come here and I put one down and I look at it. Well, no, now it's not working. Oh, I can't show it to you. But you'd see the starlight was coming up to here maximum. Because there's not enough starlight. Okay. One of the things that this talks about is astral relay. So... An astral relay is a little platform like this by three by two by three, which is one sooty marble. So one sooty marble, four arch, uh, four chiseled, and four arch. So one, two, three, four. So what I want to show you, four marble, four chiseled. Let's grab this diamond wand. And this is how you can augment the power of of your altar and i want one in each corner so if i go right here chiseled and arch perfect so if i come back here it's uh chis uh marbled in the corner so one two three four and then it's arch like this and then it's a sooty marble right here so i want to be able to make this altar okay but then I'm going to want to make my other altar and my other altar is going to be 11 large once it's finished. So what I'm going to do is if I go back to the book, I just need to make sure. <laughs> Let's go back here one second. If I look at the starlight crafting altar, uh, not the starlight one. Anyway, uh, it's going to be 11. Okay, so what i'm going to want is i'm going to want to offset it and i'm going to go so it's going to be one two uh you know what let's just go and find it i want to make sure i can explain this properly so this iridescent altar is going to be one two three and then offset so it's going to be one two three then i'm going to go offset and it's going to be one two three four five so one two three four five so this is how I'm going to work, uh, walk up into the altar. Okay, so I'm just going to set that for now. And then on the other side, if I go one, two, three, four, so I go one, two, three, four, so like this, and that's going to be the next corner. Uh, let's just grab that and the chisel yeah, right here like this okay so now if i continue this along oh i'm out of cobblestone let's just go grab some more cobblestone and by the way i need more starlight so just like this and so this one doesn't have two buckets but the metal one had two buckets this one also had two buckets Great, so now let's come back here and we're going to be day again, unfortunately. <clears throat> so let's grab the diamond chisel and we're going to go big tile, big tile, and big tile. And then we can continue. So it needs to be 11. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and... How much space did I give it extra? One. 
That's okay. That's that's a bit dodgy, but it is what it is. So let's just make it like that. So chisel marbled. So it's 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Like this. And the sooty right here. And oh, we're going to have to do that in the other corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then eleven. <laughs> like so. Oh god, that's so many misclick. Let's grab this back and that back. Okay, so we're set up in the corners. Now what I'm going to do is it's going to need to light up this place a little bit. So I'm going to go torch in the corner here in the corner here and here and there corner corner here and so this is going to be i'm going to try to mirror this stuff so if i come right here going to be one two three four five and then I can put a torch right here. And for now, I'm just going to throw a couple of torch down just to make it clean. But this is going to get fixed later. Also, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, four, five. That's going to be the center. Okay, so we're day. Let's go and pick up some more rock something thingies. And put some more marble pillar. this great or just i don't know how many rock thingy i'm going to need so i prefer making a bit more than a bit less and the batteries in here i'll leave the battery in here you know what i'll also leave that in there for now is there a bucket in here no oh yes i need to make my astral bee now that's the next priority so if i come here I'm going to get rid of this one and this one. And I'm going to go uh, uh, Starlight Crafting Altar like this. And since it must be close to being done pollinating, we're just going to wait here to see it. Hey, magic! We got our two Astral B. I'm going to set up more pillar so that we continue getting some Rock Crystal. But now, technically, we have our two Astral B spawn. We just need the astral bee nectar block. So this is going to be two marble honeycomb and star liquid starlight. So we're going to need mint. Oh, we already have a honey bucket right here. Let's grab a second honey bucket. Uh, No, just one's enough. Sorry. I'm not going to need two of those. So I'm going to come back here and grab a bucket. Oh, I'm going to need, going to need another one of these. Let's grab this and this, and we're going to come back over here and set this up right here and right here. Great. And then we can put one bucket of honey, one bucket of liquid starlight, and then we need two honeycombs, uh, marble honeycomb thingies. One, two, put that back in. And what else? marble with uh oh that's it so if i come back here and i say make me some astral bee nectar block voila so this should be producing what we need and what i'm going to do is i'm going to come right over here give me the other i'm gonna go grab one cobblestone but basically what i want to pick up is I want to pick up the Astral B. I'm going to move them somewhere else. Where's the other Astral B? Wait, here. Grab you. Put you. Great. And... Ha ha. Some more rock crystals. So I'm going to put some more pillars. I think I'm getting close to enough uh, rock crystal. I might take out the bee pretty soon. Just 
do this and take those away and put that in here and let's go upstairs technically i would like to keep those two bees together so if i have an empty spot where i can put oh i never grab let's come back here never grab this great let's go back upstairs and i think i have a place where i put nothing the first one right here oh yes great so right here is going to be the marble setup and this one right here is going to be the astral setup and then i'm ready to put a marble bee right here and two astral bee right there and we're going to start getting our first astral stuff so let's just put that in here and let's go back downstairs and continue the crafting so since we're day oh you know what there's something i could do you know let's just try and finish the wood jet pack so wood jet pack one two and then if i do this no nope, because i still need the wood capacitor wood capacitor and this is going to be the wood jet pack now, I don't want, like, I already want to go immediately to the next two level. So I'm going to need 11 more, uh, one, two, but uh, the basic coil. So basic coil, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Like so, I'm going to remove the wood jet pack stone. Then I'm going to need five of these battery. 1, 2, Two, three, four. Oh, come on. Five. Perfect. Five right here. Then I'm going to go one and two. And then, oh, sorry. And then I'm going to need the stone capacitor. And one. And this should be the stone jetpack. Perfect. And immediately, let's go to iron. So now we need advanced coil. So we're going to need 11 of those. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Throw them in here. Rid of this. Then we need two. We need five of these iron battery. One, two, three, four, five. Get rid of these. And we're going to need two of those. One, two. Rid of those. And one of these. Perfect. And now we should be able to do the iron jet pack. And unfortunately, we're going to have to stop here. Why? Because the next level needs refined glowstone. And that's going to be in a little while yet. Like, I don't think I... Yeah, I'm going to need the osmium compressor. Oh. Hey, listen, I'm going to work with the iron jet pack for now. But... There is an alternative recipe that I could be using. So see, this jetpack uh, can store up to 800,000 FE, and we have 500,000 here. <coughs> so look at how fast this is charging. And then it's going to charge at 160 FE per tick. So this is something I'm going to have to leave here and let just let it charge slowly. And we're going to get back to it a bit later. So while we're waiting, okay, let's go right here. This altar cannot be used. We're going to grab this altar and we're going to go back here and we're going to put it on top of this. Then I'm going to remove this block and these uh, torches. And then we can whack it with the uh, resonating wand to know what to place where. Fortunately, it doesn't tell you. Like, these are darker. So I know that these are sooty marble. And you know what? Let's just go to the quest line to be able... Yeah, we have everything. To be able to craft this, we're going to need 8 chisel, 28 arch, 24 brick, 21 sooty marble. So I already know that the sooty marble is one. It's right here. This is not a sooty marble. So these are... Oh, see? No, these are not. And it, they're putting it in red to tell you, no, don't do these. Under is a sooty marble. So we're going to put that there and there. Like so. Perfect. 
And by the way, um, the, the easy way of knowing is by looking the altar up. Like if I right click here, it shows you. Oh, no, sorry. The quest line shows me the setup. See, there's a marble brick right here. So now we're going to need marble brick and marble bricks going to be like this. Like this and I don't have any red which means it's okay the rest is going to be marble arch but we don't have enough marble arch so now I'm going to come back here yeah that's exactly what I wanted to do let's grab some marble and I'm going to put these in there and say give me those all as marble arch so all of the surrounding stuff is marble arch see I'm not getting an error these are all marble arch. Oh my God. Please click in the right spot. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, and then right here, I know for a fact that these are chiseled marble. So it's chiseled marble and all four corner. We're going to need four more chisel marble and then it's pillars. So one, two, one, two. One, two, and one, two. And then we need the marble pillar at the top. Let's come back right here. So we need four more chiseled. One, two, three, four. Put them right in here. Oh, I can't change them again. Okay, so marble. Maybe I need to be a bit more careful in how many I change. So one, two, three, four. And I need these as chiseled marbles. And those are going to go on top and one, two, three, and four. Now we can go and light this place up. Uh, the extra block doesn't really matter. Well, the, sorry, the extra, like the torches don't have any impact other than stopping stupid spawning. So you're allowed to put those in to make things safer. Okay, so now if I come here and I look at this, see it's valid and look at the starlight. I'm not getting to 100% full. So we can remove the starlight crafting table, alter this. Now I want to make it go full. So what I want to do is I want to make some of these. I'm going to need glass lens, wood and gold nugget. And I'm going to want to make a couple. Let's come right here and say this plank of a stack and then pain. Can I make a bit more? Yes, I can. If I come back here, glass lens. Oh, I didn't make the glass lens yet. Oh, I need more aquamarine. I misplanned that. Sorry, guys. Let's go up here. Let's see if we have a couple of honeycomb. We've got five. Well, let's grab all of these five and let's just go back here. I wish I had gotten more, to be honest. And let's just. OK, this is the other problem. Like you see, there's no power. The reason there's no power is that it's all going to this machine first and it's still all trying to charge this. Hmm. Listen, I really need those. You know what? No, 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 no. I really need those honeycomb. Just give me that. Do it. Put you back in here so that you can continue recharging. And I'm going to come right here and I'm going to manual those. It's only five. If it was more than that. I would be hesitant, but it's only five. So let's just do that. Great. And now let's come over here. And you know what? Let's do the star metal cutting tool. Oh, we need infused wood plank. Which is infused wood. And okay, how do you get infused wood? I'll show you in a second. So first off, I'm right here. And you grab a bucket. I'll do it right here. And then. Nope, not those. Sorry. 
oak logs. Oak. Let's grab, grab half a stack and put that in there. Oh, yes. I've got night vision six because I went into the starlight liquid. It gives you night vision, but for a short period of time. Okay, so we've got these 32. And so now I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's put those right there. And then we can use the resonating one to whack it. And voila. So that's giving me some infused wood plank. And so now I can do this. Oh, no, 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 no. I just want one. So I just should craft just one. The uh, cutting tool is right here. Star metal cutting tool. <laughs> and voila and let's do some astral blast lens can i make one i'm gonna make just one for now because that's all i have the aquamarine for unfortunately so that's a glass lens and the astral relay is made from glass lens let's make an astral relay for the quest and whack it So unfortunately, so this is for the quest. Uh, wait. Oh no, that's for the attunement altar. There is no quest for this. Anyway, so if I put this down right here, it's going to add more starlight to my altar. And I say that, but it's still, see the lines here. It's kind of aligned with my bucket, but what I need is another lens. Let's just come right here before night ends. Can I get... Four more star metal. Uh, four more astral thingy. This is playing the lottery though, so there's a good chance I'm not going to be getting. Oh! Great, so we got some. I can come back here and let's just go do another lens ASAP. Like this. Now look at where the... Oh, it, it's going down. So if I go right here and put this right here, see? It's generating and it's going toward my altar. So my altar was going down and now it went back up. But the reason it's going down right now is that night is over. But if we had one in all four corners, it would bring that to the top during regular night. So this is working really well for me. Uh, what I need, though, is the Starlight Infuser. Okay, The Starlight Infuser is going to require two Aquamarine, a Star Metal Ingot, some gold and whatnot. And once we have it... Oh, Odo Starlight Infuser. Oh! I'm not close to making that anytime soon, but that's going to be cool. Once I've got a Starlight Infuser, the Starlight Infuser needs to be set up like this. So we're going to need another setup. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven by seven. And as you can see, it's a bit more of a complex setup. Uh, I know that the Lapis is under the altar, I believe, and it's two level high. So this we're going to put like on the side right here. And that's once we have that, once we have the Starlight Infuser, the Starlight Infuser is going to let us make, not this, not this. Oh, no, okay. Resonating Gem. It can transform Blazing Rod into four Blaze Powder. There, there's all of these recipe, but honestly, the only one we really care about is, oh, you can transform directly. It doesn't really matter, but it's kind of cool to know. We can... Uh, where's the recipe that I want? Just give me a second. I'm going to get to it. <coughs> Ooh! Oh, no, okay. I, I thought this is how we were going to get Surtis Quartz. Uh, no. Ooh! Cobalt gives you three for one. That's something we're going to have to work on at some point. I'm going to talk uh, on this when we get to that point. But no, I'm just searching. So this, we're going to need to make pity machine frame into machine frame. And there's also something else. Starlight iron. This. Oh, no. Okay. So the starlight infused iron. It's the celestial altar. 
is this the no so the starlight okay so we need to uh craft the next level so for the celestial altar we're going to need two aquamarine two stardust and a star metal ingot okay how do we get stardust let me show you first off you throw this on the ground and then you take your star metal cutting tool and you left click that's one let's do that and it's not a guaranteed thing and that's two sometimes you get can get two sometimes you get one but um like there's a chance of you getting more so i need four chiseled marble let's just come back oh god i have so much stuff in my inventory let's come back right here and get rid of the useless stuff and four chiseled marbled so one two three four and let's come back here i'm not going to be able to craft it right now but if i do like this is ready if i do this it's not gonna work because we don't have the star metal but the recipe is here so we should be able to make it this night let's come back right here at this point i don't know if i'm going to need so many more so let's do this one last time and i think this is the last time i'm I almost hit the B. So that's going to be the last time that I'm going to uh, be making rust, rock crystal until such a time where I start needing some again. So that's all good. I don't want any red sand. So let's put the red sand here. Great. And now we should be done. So if I come here, this is fully charged. And now we can put this on us. And I want to show you this. So H... Uh, what are the shortcut? So let's just come in here. Option, control, jetpack. Oh, category jetpack. Yeah. So to toggle the engine. Oh, yes. I I put uh, that's semi-column and shift semi-column. So shift semi-column is turning. You can see on the left. It says E for engine to on and semi-column turns the over on so without the over on we do this and then out we fall back with the over on we're going slowly down so you can go up with space and down with a uh, shift the problem is look if i take it off we don't go quite as fast uh, up when we're on toggle and i just want you to see this let's say that i start running look at this this makes us go so freaking fast. And with the hover, like we were not falling to the ground. And you see with the hover, I need to shift to go down. So this is really amazing. And this is going to let us go to the nether. Next episode, I'm probably going to want to go to the nether because we're going to be ready. Okay, what else do I want to do right now? Like I'm, I'm almost done with the episode because... We got the light well, we got the star cutting metal. I showed you. I'm going to keep these two because I want to make more. Let's do some other. So quality of life. We've did the, uh, cra uh, sorry, the, the engine. We made the backpack bigger. I want a fluxo magnet. So fluxo magnet, kind of same thing. You need to recharge it. Like so. Oh, that's fast. And once it's charged, you... If you shift on it, it says V to change mode. So if I press V, it's like auto attract enable. So if I do this, it goes back. And I think that if you right click, pointing, so this, this is right there. If I point toward it and I do this, it attracts it. And if I press V, it turns disabled. Perfect. So that's going to be... Uh, good when we go to the nether to grab stuff from afar. Next thing I want to do is a silky modifier. So we're going to need a rose gold B. The rose gold B is bred with copper and gold. So if I come right here and I say gold, one, two, and one, two, and then copper. All right, one, two. And then one, two. I'm going to now grab a gold bee right here. 
I'm also going to need to pick up some uh, honey. Whew, was hard to say. Okay, so let's come right here and give me a gold bee. Come on. I, I have... I only have two gold bees. Huh. I thought I had like four gold bees. I'm going to have to make more gold bees. And my copper is right here. So, nope, wrong place. So let's go back here. So this is my signalum and my copper. I'm going to put the gold bee right here. And I'm going to go copper and gold. Give me a baby. Then I'm going to grab the gold and put it back down so I can breed it again with the other copper bee. Then I can grab this one and this one and... Ah! You're so stupid. I hate when they go there. Okay, so I got this one. Let's come back over here. You know what? Let's grab two gold. I don't like one, two, three, four. I don't like that I only have two gold bees. So if I come back here, I can go gold and gold. And... Hold on. You know what? Let's make these adults. Oh, well, that's done. Okay, so now let's go and make the rose gold un uh, nectar block. So, rose gold nectar block like this. <coughs> it's going to wait for it, and then I'm going to go set it up. You know what? Uh, just one moment. So, I'm going to need some rose gold. So, let's grab one and one. I, I think that's how I make rose gold. So, rose gold is made by one gold to three copper. No, not the bread. And I'm going to stop this. Perfect. And I'll come back. Like, I know I'm going to get rose gold at some point to the bee. But right now, I don't want to have to wait. And I'm going to come back right here. Remove this, the rose gold, and then good. So we're now going to start getting rose gold uh, from the the honeycombs. But while and voila, so we can get four blocks. I'm just gonna put it through here because I want to get silk touch on my pickaxe because that is how I'm going to pick up a blaze spawner. And I want the blaze spawner because we need blazing blood. So blazing blood is made by melting blaze. Or I think there's also if you smelt the blaze heads. Okay. So I don't have a lot of blaze head. But with the block of gold, which I can transform. Oh man, that's more than enough. I really really overdid it so now i need string and i think it's four round uh, eight yeah one two three four five great rid of this and where's my uh, right <gasps> i'm not used to the jetpack right now so it's going to be one two three four five and put that on it and now we have silky which is silk touch which means that with that we can pick up anything anything that we want so that's a really good like that's something that i'm really happy to get let's come back here and say astral hey let's grab a block for the quest and then let's grab all 21 and i'm going to come back here and i'm going to put these 21 to process right here i should have my first rose gold honeycomb right now oh wow uh, that was flight. That was not grabbing the ladder. So rose gold right here. Okay. I, did I ever have, have those? Yeah, I've done all of those. <laughs> okay, so let's come back over here. And so this is done. The silky modifier and the rose gold bee is done. Great. 
And the Terra Steel bee spawn was done. Okay, so I've got a lot more bees to make, but one at a time. Oh, so I also found that Ender Beacon consumes honey, grants bee safety, prevent bees from teleporting in affected range. But you need to give it honey, and you need purple block, and purple block is pop chorus fruit. And the only way to get chorus fruit is from the bee itself, but you need the chorus fruit first, or from a chorus flower in a botany pot or a phytogenic insulator. So we're going to need to go to the end for that. Great, so now we're coming up toward the night, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the next level of altar. See, this is the max it can get to. We're just gonna let that continue, and while this is continuing, I also want to do something else. I want to make my first block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make it's ten. Is it ten? Tell me it's ten. Let's come right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, so it's nine. Right here. And come back here and go nine. And so that's going to be making our first uh, of the steel, like the starlight metal one. Now I'm going to need nine of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this altar should be ready. Whoa. Okay. So let's grab my whack-a-mole stick right here. And if I look at this, nope, not yet, but it's going up. It's going up really quickly because night is becoming more and more high. But the, the lighter blue one that you see here, that's how much we're missing to be able to craft the recipe. So it's still going up. And it's weird because it goes down before the other one goes up. So it makes it look... And voila! So that's enough. We can do this. And now we're making... See, it's still going up because we have this thing right here. It wouldn't bring it to full. You need at least two for that. But oh, voila. Okay, and now this one, if I right-click it, well, it's telling you what's wrong about it. So what's wrong about it are those. So let's take these out. Okay, so all of these that are there are already good. And you know what? Let's just go to the quest line. If I go to the quest line, the celestial altar. So we have enough of all of these, but we need 40 marble brick. Let's come right here and say marble. And right here, and let's put those 32 and get... That's enough marble brick. It's way too much, but it's okay. So basically, it's sooty marble the whole center. So let's just come back here and... This. Like this. No, that's in the wrong place. Ooh, okay. Like this. Great. What next? Then it's marble bricks all around. If I take those out and I go like this, so these... Oh, not this one right here, sorry. It's going to be marble brick and these. And these. And then what's the the corner are going to be arch, I guess. Uh wait, wait, wait. Can oh it, it's in the book. Let's go look at the book. The book's so much easier to read. So if I go to con oh is constellation the right place? Starlight infusion. Nope. We're going to zoom out and go to exploration. Starlight crafting tape altar. Nope. So attunement, maybe? Starlight attunement. Where is that stupid table? Oh, celestial altar right here. So celestial altar, if we switch, it's going to be what are these three right here? Um uh, Oh, just regular marble. So three, three, three. Okay, so these are no longer good. Okay, 
Great, so let's remove those. Oh, I'm so not only that, there's Sudi Marble. Okay, so let's just do Marble and Sudi Marble. So it's Sudi Marble and then it's Normal Marble. And Sudi Marble. Sudi Marble. And then Normal mar oh, Normal Marble. Let's go do the next corner. Sudi marble, normal mar marble, perfect. What else does the book say? So these are bricks in the corner, perfect. So I need to go back to bricks right here. So marble brick. And I, I think I, th I think this is the biggest, uh, the highest we're going to make. If that's the case, I'm just going to do a bit of research, but if that's, that's the case, I'm going to put some steps all around just for symmetry because I love symmetry. I don't know about you guys, but I love symmetry. So then if I go back to the book, next level is these chiseled thing, the rune marble. So one, two, three, and four. And then it's the pillars. One, two. I think I'm going to misclick every single corner. You know what? If I do it like this, I can't misclick it. <laughs> That's three for four. Three out of four, I misclick. Oh my God, please. Okay, so at least that's done. And if I go back to the book, uh, chiseled marble. One, two, three, and four. And I'm not going to, so perfect. Now, can I make this in time? No, it's already reducing. <sighs> Starlight infused iron right here. Can I do this, please? Oh, yes, we're going to be able to make one. Oh, wow, that was fast. Okay, so the reason I wanted to make one is now, if we go back here and we grab our wand. Where's my wand? Wand right here. So if I grab my wand and I grab a living rock. Put a living rock right here and wand this. We got one of each. We need five. So I need four more of each. So this is something that in my time lapse, I'm going to try and do. I'm also going to try and make more uh, Terra Steel. Let's just make another Terra Steel with you guys so that you can see how much it uses. I go one, two, three. If I come down here and I go like this and I go to my wand, like look, these things are going to empty really fast. And voila, so that's one. The one thing that I want to do is I want to put this one right here. So this pool, I want to keep full for the catalyst. And this one, I want to keep full for this. But at least I'm moving forward on the Terra Steel ingot. If I come here, I should now have five. Yeah, I still need to make uh, 13. Yeah, so three, that should be. I should be able to make, yeah, like this one. I think I can make maybe two more. And by the way, I kind of forgot to fill it with coal. Like that, that's my biggest problem right now. Uh, how, how, what would it do? Can I use block of coals? Yes, yes, I can. So let's put block of coals because these will provide mana way longer why aren't you finishing oh my god i ran out of mana please 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 don't waste it because you lose the mana if it doesn't complete yeah okay so that was scary 
You need half a mana pool, so like this was really bad. I almost lost one completely. Okay, so I think I'm at the point where I'm going to go in my time lapse, and my time lapse not going to be long enough to do this, but what I would like the time lapse to be long enough, to be honest, well, I like to make three more astral relay for the three corners, okay, so that I can make sure that this is getting like really full. I'd like to make four more starlight infused iron and four more mana infused coal. And I'd like to make the 18 Terra Steel. But in the next episode, we're going to go adventuring. In the next episode, we're going to go to the Nether because I want to make my Wither Skeleton Bee. And to make the Wither Skeleton Bee... Hmm. It's the egg. So I need Wither Skeleton. So the rubber bee over wither skeleton i'm gonna need one and i'm also going to need two more for this so i need at least three wither skeleton skull so that's what i'm going to be working in the next episode so i can start getting some potential the wither skeleton bees is going to let me make gonna give me honeycombs and those honeycombs can be processed to make wither skeleton skulls and these wither skeleton skulls can of course be used to make withers and withers when you kill them gives you um nether star and nether stars mean um nether stars mean that we get oh my god words nether stars mean that we get um apiaries so i'm gonna end the episode on this and i'm gonna go into a short time lapse to try and produce more resource and in the next episode we're going to go and play in the nether guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode bye now
Lava! 